Yeah, this lecture is about sets of measure zero and, and how we uh, uh, keep track of, of small sets, so one way to describe small sets. Uh, it opens the idea of the measure of the set, but that is a topic that is too broad for this course. Uh, Going to start out, suppose that S is a set of real numbers, and suppose that for every epsilon greater than zero, there is an countably infinite set, u sub n, such that n is an element of the natural numbers of open intervals, uh, some or all of which might be empty, that covers uh, S, and the sum of whose lengths is less than epsilon. Then we say that S is of measure zero. Um, let, let's prove some things. Uh, a set that consists of a single point is of measure zero. A set of measure, if t S is a set of measure zero and T is contained in S, then T is of measure zero. If there are a uh, countable number of sets, S1, S2, etc., that are, are measure zero, and S in, is their union, then S is of measure zero. Uh, the set of all rational numbers in the interval 0, 1 is of measure zero, and the set of all rational numbers is of measure zero. Um, for, for 1, we let epsilon greater than zero be given, let x be a real number, uh, then there is a, a set containing a single open interval, uh, namely x minus epsilon over 3 plus x comma x plus epsilon over 3. Uh, that covers the set that contains only x. The length of uh, all, or the sum of the length of the, the one interval is less than epsilon. So the set containing x is of measure 0. We got that. Um, to prove 2, let S be a set uh, of measure 0, let epsilon greater than 0 be given, and let script U be a set of open intervals that covers S, the sum of whose length is less than epsilon. Now suppose that T is contained in S, uh, then this the set that covered uh, S will cover t as well, and so t will be of measure 0. Okay, now let's prove 3. 3, we're, we're going to work, okay. Uh, let epsilon greater than 0 be given. Okay, so we have s1, s2, s3 that are all of measure 0, and for every n, okay, well, the, there will be a set of open intervals, and here we have the uh, we'll call it u sub i super n, and we're letting the i vary because this this set of open intervals is going to cover a set Sn. Uh, we're going to, uh, we can, since this is a measure zero, we can insist that the sum of the length of these intervals is less than epsilon over 2 to the nth power. Okay, a very carefully chosen small number. Okay, now let script u be the set of all of these intervals u, i, n. Okay, then u is a countably infinite set of open intervals that covers s, the union of, which is the union of s1 through sn. So script u covers up s, which is all of these u, all of these si's together. Now. For every open set, and this should be an uppercase open set here, sorry, uh, u that is in script u, let lambda of u denote the length of that interval. So this guy is supposed to be the same as this guy. Okay. We claim that the sum of all of these lengths is less than epsilon. Okay. And this notation is well defined because the rearranging a series uh, of uh, positive terms has no effect on the value. So 
let L1 through Ln be a, a partial sum uh, of the, this, this mad infinite sum over here. Uh, then the Lk are the lengths of intervals uin. Okay. And so I got my L1 through Lm. It's less than this double infinite sum where I first vary on the outside, vary through uh, my i, and on my inside, I vary through the j. And so I'll fir first get that it can be uh, less than uh, th that this sum here is less than epsilon over 2i because this is covering. Uh, one of my uh, sets and then uh, when I add these all up because of a geometric series this is epsilon so this partial sum is less than epsilon and so the total sum will be bounded above by epsilon so s must be of measure zero and uh, the, the final two were, were basically just collecting trash uh, as coral, as they're cor these are corollaries of part three. Uh, if you want to pause here and read through them, fine. It's also in the the notes I have uploaded on Canvas.